Hello and welcome along to Mondo Child Event Movies. My name is John and this video is going to be what I picked up from CEX the other day. I also received something great through the post so I'll show that unboxing right now. So I've just received this package through the door. Now it's a slim package so you're thinking is this a, a Blu-ray in here? Well I'll tell you what it is. I'll get this open here and I'll show you what's exactly in this. I'm pretty sure I know who this is off but what I've received in this package is the slip cover and also the booklet for the bloodthirsty trilogy wow look at that actually wow i don't know if that's showing up but um it's one of these soft touch ones when these soft touch ones has this sort of way of this uh this um pictures here sort of coming to life a little bit as if they're a kind of uh, they've got a bit of a glow to it that is a really nice slip cover. So this slip case and booklet was sent to me by uh, James from Movie Mad. I'll put a link down to his channel down below. James got in touch with me and said uh, he would like to give me this uh, slip cover. I didn't have that. I said, well, I didn't have it. And also um, he said the booklet. So the booklet here is equally as nice. I think it's in perfect condition as well. Wow. Now, I haven't watched these actually since I've got them in this Bloodthirsty trilogy, so this has uh, made me think I need to get the, need to get a wriggle on and watch these ones. I've actually got the, um, the receipt here. I paid £9.99 for it, which is quite a decent price when you think there's three movies on here. And I got it on the 15th of October 2020. So there you go, from Newcastle. And uh, I do remember putting this uh, these movies on, and the movies did look quite spectacular. Now, on this... Uh, on this uh, set, you get the Vampire Doll, which is from 1970. You get Lake of Dracula, which is 1971. And actually, when I'm looking at that picture, I remember seeing that picture in uh, a horror book that I had way back when. That's that's really uh, brought that back to me, that actually. And also Evil of Dracula, which is from 1974. Really uh, interested to see these ones now. Yeah, oh wow. That's a brilliant picture that. So these ones here in, in the slip cover actually do have the Amory case here. Now here it is with the reversible art. And because uh, obviously I'm going to reverse it because uh, I like to have the both arts uh, on presentation. So I've got just a two disc set. You get one film on one disc and you get the other two on the other disc. And uh, with Kim Newman uh, on the Bloodthirsty Trilogy. Um, a new video appraisal by the critic and writer. You get Stills Gallery. You get uh, original Japanese soundtracks with optional newly translated English subtitles. I don't know if you get an English dub on here, which is all right. I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, this is this is one that always had me eye on. And actually, funny enough, it had me eye on it because of this slip. And then when I went to get mine in the sale, it didn't have it in. So I thought, oh well, I've missed the boat on that. Say la vie and all that. But James has very kindly sorted me out with a slip cover and the bootlet here. And there is the slip case. Wow. I've got to say this this is a really nice the more I say it, the more I'm thinking this is this is such a nice slip cover. So I just want to thank James again to uh, for giving me the chance to have this in slip cover. Also I'd like to thank Ryan from Let's Get Kicking Movies for inviting me on it with stream on Friday night. I had a great time there, even though I was a bit tired from work. I had a great time and we did a quiz as well, which was very exciting. And I think the grey matter wasn't working too well. And I enjoyed sharing the stream with Pete from Play Tendo Guy and also Danny from This Is My Life! Exclamation mark. So what I'll do is I'll leave a link to all their channels down below. So please go and check them out. And I'll also leave a link to that stream if you didn't see it. So what I got from CEX was for 50 pence, I got the Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus. Now this is unfortunately Heath Ledger's last ever movie. And I was always interested to see it because it's a Terry Gilliam movie as well. I'm a big fan of Terry Gilliam. Some of his movies anyway. So to get this movie finished, Terry Gilliam enlisted the help of some friends of Heath Ledger. Uh, Jude Law, Johnny Depp and also Colin Farrow. And they were drafted in to sort of get this, uh, this film made. Now apparently this film isn't meant to be that good. Uh, it's meant to be a bit of a mess. Now I can understand it being a bit all over the place. But I do want to say it for another reason as well, because uh, Tom Waits is in this movie, he plays a devil apparently. It's always been one that I wanted to see, but just never got round to. 
and when you want to see it you can't find it but there i saw it and i thought oh and for 50 pence i thought that's a no-brainer and everything in his movies is sort of really well realized as well as set designs are fantastic i think it is that this imaginarium is this sort of traveling show that when they travel somewhere it sort of opens up a bit like a carnival and uh, there's a lot more to that i think there's a lot of time traveling here i think there's a lot to do with their uh, mirrors when people go through mirrors that can come back as a different person i think that's how they got th around the fact that the scenes that weren't actually completed by heath ledger and also it's a real shame that heath ledger passed on when he did because i think he was he was just in the start of a, an amazing career he had a great career but i think uh, with uh, Rollins the joker i think this was him starting off to be in the big league and sadly it didn't work out but this one is uh, for 50 pence. It had to be got, it had to be watched, and uh, I look forward to watching it. So that's the Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus. Next up, for four pounds, I got National Treasure. Now, this movie here is one that I hear talked about quite a lot as one of uh, Nick Cage's really good movies. Uh, one that uh, a lot of people say that they should make. I know they made a second one, and they should make a third one. I think they might be in the pipeline, or it might not be, but a lot of people say that the third one should be made. Now, this uh, has been talked a lot. I've had a lot of conversations with uh, my good friend Keith from Euphoria Pictures, link down below, and he talks very highly of this movie. I know he's got a great set in his channel. If I can find that video, I will put it on. If I can't, I'll just put one of his latest videos on. And uh, he's got a that that made me think oh, there might be more to this. If there's a big uh, special edition of this movie out, there might be more to it than I thought. It sort of passed me by. I never took any notes of it because sometimes I go through periods with Nicolas Cage where I think. He's, he's great and then i go through ones where i think he's absolutely terrible so i kind of forget all about him but i'm really interested to check this one out because um i hear nothing but good things about it and the other and the second one as well i would have bought that if that was there now uh, i'm gonna i did check this out and it did look really nice on uh, blu-ray um a lot of a lot of these movies you think can't look bad on blu-ray but some some don't uh, really translate uh, but this one looks really good and uh I'm really interested to check it out and uh, like I say there's been a lot of people talking about this and everybody I hear talking about it say it's a really good film so that's getting quite high up on the list uh, I think the devil would really like this one so that's National Treasure so lastly I picked up at a great price of £12 for a great set um, a movie that I've been looking at a lot of times in HMV but it's always been sort of £30 and I thought well I don't know enough about it to like it but I am interested in this movie and I'll tell you why I am interested in it and the movie is waterloo now unfortunately it comes with a bit of a damage to the um to the j card which isn't too much of a problem i know it's got a bit there as well but the j card can easily be removed uh, it will sort of sit in the shelf at the minute it doesn't really sort of stand out but this uh this set actually i thought it was in a, a eureka title but it's actually from medium rare it just shows you that this company medium rare they are quite to do some quite good things what on earth was that uh, they're still doing, you know, I mean, probably, I don't know if you know this, but um, when I first started doing my videos, and talking like nearly two years ago, there was somebody doing some work over there, and they're still doing the work over there, so they've just dropped a pipe. I don't know what else they can do with that house. Anyway, so um, when I saw this, I thought, right, I'm going to get this one because I did really want to see this movie, and the reason why I want to see it was because I believe that uh, Stanley Kubrick wanted to make a film of Waterloo. And it didn't sort, he couldn't get the funding for it and it didn't go right for him. And this one came out in the meantime. So this is produced by Dino De Laurentiis and directed by Sergei Bonachuk. No, me neither. And I think that it scuppered his plans basically for the whole Waterloo that, uh, that um, Sally Kubert wanted to make. And I think that's why he stayed in, in a period piece of Barry Lyndon, I believe. So I thought, right, there was always on my radar to watch and just to see what uh, they actually did with the, uh, this film in Waterloo because I, I heard it was meant to be a really good version of uh, the whole thing to do with Napoleon Bonamart. Bonamart? Where's me ladders? And I'm quite interested here behind the story of Napoleon Bonaparte. It also features Orson Welles, Christopher Plummer. So it's got, it's got everything going for it. So what I did was I did flick it on and uh, it's got some battle scenes and i think there was um 15, extras and you can really tell there's 15,000 extras in this there's no cgi at all and i don't really know too much about the whole waterloo saga but i'm really interested to find out so if you're interested in this kind of thing i highly recommend this set this is the reversible art and uh it's got a nice uh, picture there on the disc the audio on here is dts 5.1 
and the picture quality on here it's a region b lock and the picture quality on here is really nice i think it's uh, it's one of those ones where it's got different sort of qualities in in this in the uh, movie sometimes when you're in interiors it gets a little bit grainy sometimes it's really sharp as well but when you see things like marble floors the, the shine off them is absolutely amazing so this movie's from 1970 so 133 minutes and the wardrobe and the way that it looks and the, the sort of costumes on here is absolutely amazing to see all those people 15,000 plus people uh, dressed the same is just uh, crazy can't wait to watch this movie actually i do like to watch uh, these sort of uh, period sort of dramas that have like uh, historical events i don't know if i'd watch one that's like maybe like a, um it's like a fictional one i think although well, barry linden is a fictional one i really enjoy that one but this one being a real event has really got me interested so that's the disc there also you get in here you get some arc cards now there's three here but they're double sided so that's the first one and that's the other side that's the second one and that's the other side that's the third one i mean that when you see that on the screen you can't believe what you're looking at and then that's the other side so as you can tell like i said these uh these scenes to see all these people and uh it's just like as far as i can see of this battle and i know that there's, there's certain kind of um strategies that they had with these battles and i'll be interested to see how they play them out so that's the arc cards also you get a really nice booklet yeah it's uh it's very it's, it's a visually stunning movie this i would imagine it tells you all about the costumes in here and set designs seems like a, a quite quite a fascinating read now this movie here when i saw it i mean yes the the slip cover the, sorry the j cards a little bit rough that could have been the way it was stored by the people in cx maybe because uh this seems to be almost like brand new and uh it actually had a little sticker on the side and the little sticker on the side i saw a few of them in the shop that had the same sticker on so i think that these things have come from the same uh, collector now also it, it did seem that this other stuff i wasn't really interested in but it was kind of stuff like this and um, so it seems like somebody's probably put some of their collection into the um look at that into cx now that makes me think that uh, cx have been a bit rough with the the j card because it doesn't look like this person uh, was the type of person to do that it looked like you would have had the things in the the good condition judging by the condition of the disc as well this looks fantastic so yeah so that's that's pretty amazing that uh, book let's also you get a poster as well so that's the new cover that's a lovely cover that nice poster that and this would probably be the original poster that's another nice poster as well it's very retro that well it's obviously if it's the original one from 1970 so i highly recommend this set and the hardest thing about this video is to resist the temptation to sing the abba song waterloo and thanks once again to james from movie mad for sending me this slip cover it's absolutely brilliant i hope the light does this justice because every time i look at it it gets better the sort of way that this uh it goes dark you know when you're not really sort of having got in the light and then when you put in the light it sort of comes to life that's absolutely amazing so please check out james's channel movie mad in the description down below so thanks for watching you take care and i'll see you on the next video cheers